sadly, I was at level 74 and <clears throat> 90%, 95%, whatever. It takes a long time to... It's 3,770,600 experience points to the next level. Um, soloing one monster at a time at the same level as me, getting experience chain bonus as I go. Anywhere from 1226, so 1,226, to, if I can get the chain high enough, 1649. But... It's hard to do, because at some point in time, the next chain is at, like, you have seven seconds to kill the next monster. Uh, so, it took a while. It took longer than I was hoping it would take, but I reached 75. I am literally 753 experience points into 75 out of 3.77 million that's necessary for reach. Anyway, anyway, we can finally continue the story quests. Into the Wood is the next one. Given to us by Yishtola. Bearing the seal, it should be possible to enter Yix Ixmaja uh, unmolested by its guardians. I will go ahead to Slitherbow and inform the others. When you have recovered your from your exertions, meet with us in the cavern leading east of the village. Okay. Let's just fucking teleport. No, I will not spend one of my tokens for free. I swear if I accidentally waste it, not remembering that that's like a second... I didn't mean, I didn't mean to unmount. Or dismount, whatever. So back in Slitherbow, we are now mo uh, moving through a tunnel to the northeast. Or leading northeast. At the end of which, before we can... Well, almost at the end. We have Yustola, Orlean, J, Thancred, Mithilia. Good, you're here. Runar opened the gate for us but moments ago. Beyond lies Ixmaja and presum presumably the Light Warden. It did not take long for the woods protectors to find me when last I came here, and I expect them to fall upon us just as quickly this time. Though we, can, though we carry the seal, there is no reason for us to let our guard down. Not down our guard. Now, let us seek out the Warden and put an end to its reign over these woods. Okay. Even with my Jacobo Pegasus um, helping in the kills, it still just took so much fucking time. <sighs> anyway, we've exited. We are now in the eastern portion of this map for the first time. I believe, yeah, first time. Same kind of structure, though. It's forested. We have streams, rivers... Um, there's some blue flowers kind of making a path here. Like, very vibrant blue. Like, kind of aquamarine blue, actually. There is... There's a monster here called the G Gizamaluk. It's kind of like a flying wyvern kind of thing. Forest echoes look like floating plant ghosts. And we have a destination marker. Surveying at the destination. Cut scene. Our party is walking through the along the blue, um, the blue flower path. Arrows come streaking in at our feet. A warning, perhaps. It would seem we have found them. There are some people in, in the trees. You trespass upon sacred ground. They're Be bunny, gone. Pe bunny people. Bow wielding sentinel. Bunny people. Viera, I believe they are. More arrows fired. But this time at us, Thancred knocks some away from himself in Philia. A spear wielding bunny lady jumps down and rushes us. Wait! We did not come to! Swipes at Yishtola, who barely dodges. And then tries to stab. She spins out of the way again. Tries to swipe again. She blocks it with her staff. 
<sighs> Guardian J throws out his Astrologian discs, but she jump, she jump twists like a freaking awesome martial artist in the air to dodge those. Comes Stop. rushing. We mean you no harm. Again at Ishtola, who then thrusts out a medallion, and the the, the dragoon lady stops. Sister, the, is that? The people in the tree still also stop. We are allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. The Dragoon Lady seems to be flitting about <gasps> in weird patterns. It appears to be genuine. And then gives a dance as she notices the genuine... And perhaps there is yet hope. Medallion. Perhaps. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. The bow wielder is less impressed than the other two. Follow the Azure Flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. Try not to stray from the path. All right? Says the spear wielding. Spear dancer. Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? Um, you didn't technically escort but me. But if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. Ixmaya, not Maja Maya. Okay, sure. Forest Echo. We're following the azure flower path around a tree. Snap weeds. Kind of like walking plants with like a Venus flytrap kind of um, um, container as their mouth. Similar to like. What's. What are those? So you had. God damn, my, my Pokemon knowledge is not is failing me right now. Um You had the little vine guy, Bell Sprout. So kinda like Victory Bell. No, well Victory Bell or Weeping Bell? Kinda, maybe, maybe like more like Weeping Bell, but also like a Final Fantasy eleven monster that I had to fight a lot. Um I can't remember what they were called. But we have reached a settlement. Um, we have some archways made of very intricately carved wood patterns. And there's got like a bodega. Or, oh, not that's the right word. Um, more like pavilion, I guess, is the better word. Where the bow wielding sentinels who we talked to. Cutscene. Please talk. Damn it. I would have the seal that we may confirm its authenticity. Straight to the point, I see. Very well, says Yustola. Hands it over. Hmm. There's no mistaking the crest of the royal family. It is of proper size, and by its weight, it is plain that it was made from gold. The seal is indeed genuine. Hands it back. For 3,000 years we have waited for this moment, and now you are finally here. I bid you welcome, allies of Ronka. I am Almet, chieftainess of Fano. Yui met her younger sister. Simon, a pleasure. We were beginning to lose hope that you would come. I beg your pardon. These are troubled times for my people, though I can but imagine what has, be, uh, what has compelled you to venture into our woods. You must be tired after your journey. Come, take your ease. If you'd like to, I will show you about the village, but I must warn you it is a long way down to the forest floor, so do watch your step. couple nods from myself and Yistola, and we walk off to follow. Into the wood is complete. I th I'm hoping that there is a... Yes, cool. So I'm gonna go get the Fano um, Etherite, and then I'm gonna teleport back to Slitherbow to do that plus quest for the ether current. It's 
let me just do those two. Let me just do this thing. So etherite, attuned, gemstone. I'll, I'll go go get the amoro, the amoro keep as well. Why not? Why not? Not not. Wow, about that. Sorry. This is indeed like this entire st town um, settlement is all in like tree canopies that are actually. Can I? Uh, Sixty gil is cheaper. Let's do that. While our Amoro is flying us back between in the trees and such to slither bow um the sponsor non-sponsor for this video is h-o-m-c-a memory foam cervical pillow it has been the best pillow purchase that i have certainly made in in years um allows me to sleep on my back or on my sides or on my stomach like it has different um um vertical fluffiness depending like depending on which um, sleeping position you take uh, the middle is made for sleeping on your back so your head can rest in this big divot and the sides are pretty much made for sleeping on your sides or if you I sleep on my stomach too sometimes and I use the, the raised sides for the best neck position but if you purchase it with my link in the description I get a cut um, I will see you next time